Love Sports and Monthly. I'm your host, Leah, and it's so wonderful to be here. Tell us absolutely everything. What's coming to Forza Horizon 4 in the uh, Series 36 update? This is the RX3, the 73 uh, RX3, and that's actually the, uh, the export name. Um, for the car, it's known as the Savannah in Japan, which uh, I think is when you try and like come up with a name for a car, like a, a, it's like a code name. Yeah, it? yeah, it the, the Savannah handles very well. I like it. I always like <laughs> driving classic cool cars because sometimes it's not all about speed; it's about class. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey. Oh, yeah. It's not how quick you get there. Exactly. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's all about <laughs> Doritos Cool Blue. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's all you need. That's what the Sunday cars are for, right? Just uh, exactly. roaming around, exactly. driving them once a month, <laughs> so you don't ruin them. So this is the Saline S1. Um, now, obviously, Saline are well known for making their own kind of variants and versions of other cars but this is actually one that they've manufactured and developed um, themselves 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and it's got a top speed of about 180 miles per hour now the final reward car uh, the 1972 mazda cosmo which i love the name of around the time uh, this car was made it was obviously a really big fascination with the space race uh, and this was Mazda kind of trying to tap into that. Hey, hello, welcome back, Chris. There's some confusion out there about what the name of the game is. And I just wanted to, to, to reaffirm, like the, the name of the game is is Forza Motorsport. There's there's no sequential eight after the title. Um, it really is an all new Forza Motorsport experience. I think I've mentioned in the past, we're working on things like track temperature and how it affects things like grip and tire pressure and tire wear. Uh, in addition, you can imagine how changes in the time of day and weather along with the the new tire wear modeling i was just talking about and all of the new multiple compounds uh, lead to a much deeper driving and racing experience i bought this bus last july the end of last july and i've put eighteen thousand miles on it wow yeah I've been across america two times i streamed on the east coast of america and atlantic beach and in malibu and streamed all the way through everywhere the Forza community over in Facebook Gaming, because that's where I primarily stream, it's just been absolutely phenomenal. I can't say anything other than I love and appreciate each and every one of the Action Squad members, my action captains that come through and they've supported the channel and it's been a wonderful journey and we're just we're just getting started. Hey. Hello, Ali, how you doing? Yeah, it's good to be here. Good to be back. It's been such a great month of Forza oh, Community yeah. Racing. So they do, um, yeah, they did a Tora Indy 500 this month. And uh, I mean, it was massive. It was incredible. Just a really fast race. Um, amazing. Uh, it's a standard of driving throughout it. I think they were saying in the commentary that, you know, it's it's really one of those races where it's almost the hardest to get into the A lobby, <laughs> into the top lobby of anything in, in Forza, just because of how small the margins are. The wait is finally over. All the speculation finally came to an end yesterday at the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase when Playground Games announced Forza Horizon 5. That's right, the Horizon Festival is headed to beautiful, diverse Mexico for the fifth title in the series. Hello, Forza fans. I'm your host, Leah, and it's time for the June edition of Forza Monthly. With the announcement of Forza Horizon 5, June has been a great month already, and there's plenty more coming your way today. Let's take a look at the schedule. We'll be starting, as always, with Playground Games, who will walk us through the Series 37 update for Forza Horizon 4, including an exciting evolution to Super 7. Then they'll share what the announcement of Forza Horizon 5 means for future Forza Horizon 4 content updates and go over what to expect for Forza Horizon 5 performance on Xbox Series X and S consoles. Following that, we turn our attention to competitive Forza, starting with Community Spotlight guest Forza Comp GG, a content creator who's made it his mission to create a hub for all things competitive in the world of Forza. And then Ali Tak has the latest on Late Shift, Torah Endurance Racing, and a look ahead at more community events coming in July. But that's not all. Stick around after the show for another episode of Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go with Charlie and the Playground Games gang as they dive into the development of the newest Forza Horizon game. Uh, well, there's a lot to get to, so let's welcome Mike Brown and Tom Butcher to the show. Hello, guys. Hey, Leah. Welcome great back. to be here. Hey, Hello. Leah. How are you doing? I am good. Thank you. Um, we are now at 37, Series 37 in Forza Horizon 4. Uh, so what wonderful pun-filled challenges do you have for us this time? 
let's take a look, shall we? Can we bring up the yes. uh, festival playlist? Alrighty, so starting us off in summer, well, actually the overall playlist for 50%, you get yourself a backstage pass and at 80%, the 1990 Chevy Camaro. Moving into summer, at 50%, you've got the Honda S800 and at 80%, the Ferrari 250 LM. Nice. Uh, the photo challenge in summer is hashtag Roman Roadster. Take a photo of any modern sports car at Mortimer Gardens. Um... Yep, so in the seasonal playground games, you've got another chance to get in the TVR Tucson. And then, ah, yes, the most important thing in the Van of Steel season event, you've got a shot at getting the robot emote. That's huge. That's huge. It's huge. I know people have really been waiting for that one. Uh, in Shummer Nights, you can get the uh, Hummer Open Top. And, oh, what's this? In Vool in the City, <laughs> you can get your hands on the Vool 05RR, a brand new car to Forza Horizon 4. Uh, Tom, what's going up in autumn? So if you complete 50% of autumn, you can get yourself a Horizon Backstage Pass. 80%, you can get yourself the McLaren Speedtail. Uh, photo challenge for autumn, hashtag light up my Lambo. Take a photo of any Lamborghini with the lighthouse north of Bambra. Then for the autumn trial, uh, completing Lamb Chop Chop, you can get yourself a Lamborghini Mura. Also got the Forest Sprite Showcase Remix coming back. Then the seasonal event, Silence of the Lamborghinis. You can get yourself the <laughs> Lamborghini event still. Um, and there's also the Modern Age Seasonal Championship. That was get yourself the Porsche 718 GTS. And we've also got Get Hyper. You can get yourself a Lambo Veneno. It's a legendary car. You okay, mate? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> um, in winter, um, you can get at uh, 50%, you can get the Land Rover, Range Rover, Velar. You can explore Britain in absolute luxury there. At uh, 80%, you can get yourself the Jeep Gladiator. You can explore Britain while going off-road. Uh, the photo challenge is hashtag mini car, massive castle. Take a photo of any mini at Bamba Castle. Uh, we have the return of the Assault on the Control Room Showcase Remix. And you've got the, uh, in the winter games, you can get your hands on the 2019 Hennessy Velociraptor. Tom, what have we got in spring? Thanks, Mike. 50% of spring will get yourself another Horizon Backstage Pass. 80% uh, will get yourself a Ferrari 250TR. Uh, the photo challenge, hashtag muddy good time. Take a photo of any extreme off-road car at the Mud Kickers Adventure Park. Then for the trial, if you're feeling peckish, all you can street, you can get yourself a Lycan Hypersport. Then rounding out spring, the seasonal event retro Hoonicorn attack, you can get yourself a Hoonicorn V2. The saloon returns, it's back, the Maserati Ghibli 2014, that's a hard to find car. And finally, is that a Supra? You can get yourself a Toyota Supra for the, uh, is that a Supra seasonal championship? And that's spring. I'm sorry, I'm still reeling from silence of the Lamborghini, so I can't go over that. I made no apologies for that. <laughs> Incredible. Um, okay, well, I can't help but notice there's only one reward car in the series, and it's a Mexican supercar. Is it a coincidence? Pure serendipity, yes, that a Mexican oh, okay. supercar would arrive in Horizon 4, just as we announced Forza Horizon 5 is set in Mexico. Oh. Yeah, complete chance. You, you, if you roll the dice, you know, over 600 times, it's going to come up, you know, double six. Yeah, yeah. And here it Absolutely. is. Absolutely. <laughs> let's, <check out>, uh, <laughs> let's check out this Mexican supercar then. Uh, talk us through it. What have we got? It looks a yeah, bit so like a, a hybrid between like a buggy and a, and a supercar. It's a bit interesting looking. Yeah. Um, it's, you actually said earlier that it reminded you of the Myers Max, didn't you? Um, <laughs> You're I not meant to say that. <laughs> I don't know if Phil would thank you for saying that. Tom. Um, it is, yeah, it's, a, it's actually a really, really cool car. I think it's especially interesting um, as it arrives in Horizon 4 just because of the backstory of the, the Vool. So the original Vool 05, uh, despite being designed and built entirely in Mexico, was revealed at the London Motor Show. Uh, this version, which is the Vool 05 RR, was revealed at Goodwood, again, in the UK. So despite being a, uh, a Mexican design and built car, it does actually have a little bit of history in the UK as well, which is nice as we see it right here in beautiful historic Britain. Um, yeah, so it's a, a really pretty crazy high performance car. It is road legal, um, but it is kind of all of its DNA is, is a track car, to be honest, especially this version, the, the RR, which is, um, yeah, about as 
about as tasty as you can get in a road going car, to be honest. Um, it's got the it's got 2.3 litre Ford EcoBoost engine, but very similar to the engine that you would find in the Focus RS, which might not sound like hypercar performance, but this car weighs in at about 660 kilos, which means it has a better uh, horsepower per kilo than the Bugatti Veyron. So it's Ooh. it's spicy. Um, get a peep <laughs> at the engine there. I, Looks, yeah. yeah, yeah. As you would, as you would see in a Focus RS, it's just almost identical. Uh, it actually, even says Ford on it. <laughs> Cute. Um, should we take it out for a drive? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So, eagle eyed viewers in the uh, the Warburton Wednesday would have noticed uh, a couple of clues on the whiteboard. Um, so, this car is manufactured in the Kirataro uh, city, of Kirataro, uh, which is just east of Wanahato, which starred in our. Um, our, our E3 reveal. Yeah, that's right. One of the one of the beautiful locations that you'll be able to explore in Forza Horizon 5. So uh, in the meantime, while you're waiting for launch, you can boot up Horizon 4, get in this car, and, well, I'd love to say it's basically the same. It's not quite. But it's it, it, a little bit of Mexican flavor in your Forza it's, Horizon 4 experience. It's um, like so this, yeah. <laughs> yes. So the car is absolutely rapid. Um, 2.7 seconds, 0 to 60. Um, Fortunately, this version of it has the optional uh, limited slip differential, so you can actually get around corners, but that is a, an option you can go without when customizing one of these cars um, because they are all built to, to order. They will make about 25 of these a year, uh, every single one of them unique because there's a whole suite of options you can choose um, for varying prices, including the wheels, which this one has, which uh, are the lightest wheels of any production car. Um, that is a, a record that <laughs> Vool are very proud to tell you about. Um, <laughs> adds an absolute fortune to the price as well if you, if you add that option on, um, as I was having a look at it earlier. I was going to say, you eyeing oh, it up. <laughs> um, do you know what? The entry price of the Vool is like £60,000, which is not bad to say it's, you know, a, a proper race car, um, which, you, despite being a proper race car, you are allowed to take it on the road. It is... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a bad entry price. I did notice that some of the options on there as well that you can select uh, have, a, have a note on them saying this, that it will no longer make it road legal if you attach this option. Oh. Um, I feel like there's a bit of a nudge, nudge, wink, wink there. It's like we won't tell anyone <laughs> if you don't. Kind of thing. And how can yeah, I get hold of this um... super cool car? Cool. Yes, this is available actually next week. So as soon as the season changes over into summer, you'll be able to get it in the Vool in a City uh, Seasonal Championship. Amazing. Uh, there you go. You can grab uh, this for yourself in the Seasonal Championship. Um, and that might be the only reward car this month, uh, but there is more coming to the game in Series 37. Uh, what else do you have for us? That's right. We have the long-awaited, the long coming soon. It's finally here. It's finally here. Super 7 High Stakes <laughs> launches this week. Uh, we're super excited for it. Shall we Shall we take a look? Let's. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's give an example of what that's all about then. So I'm, from muscle memory, I'm, I'm expected to hit A here and, and I'll get a coming soon pop-up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There was no pop-up. Oh, it's real. It's it's real. Here. It exists. <laughs> it is real. Um, so High Stakes is a, a very special flavor of uh, Super 7 where it takes much more challenging uh, activities than, than the regular Super 7 and it has a, a few extra little kickers thrown in as well. So you'll now get a different reward for each uh, each, each challenge that you complete. And uh, when you complete a challenge, you'll be given the option to either bank and take all the rewards you've got in your pool up to that point, or twist and carry on playing to try and earn more. Uh, you have a limited number of lives to complete each challenge. If you fail to complete it within those three lives, you're out and you lose all of your uh, all of the prizes you had up to that point. You also have a couple of burns as well. So if one of the challenges is a little bit too hard for you, you can, you can use a burn and that will get you a fresh challenge, but you can only do that, only do that a couple of times. All right, okay. Right, so we had a go uh, on this one in the uh, it, just in the rehearsal, <laughs> um, to testing that indeed the feature allows you to fail. Uh, <laughs> we're able to succeed there. <laughs> we, we failed successfully in the rehearsal. So. Um, oh yeah. All right, what's our challenge here then? Just just go to the destination. Sounds pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, fairly simple. It's, 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 it's simple on the face of it, but um, yeah. any any mistakes and you've ruined it. So. Oh yeah. Tight <laughs> Let's see how we go. No pressure. All right. Some nice set pieces. That was, oh. that was oh. quite quite the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Calculated. <laughs> yeah, not not pre-recorded, just to add. Um, right. Two. I got maybe, short time maybe, on it. maybe. Are we good? We're good. Achieved, achieved. Yeah, we're good. Easy, so. yeah. Never in doubt. 
In including the including the barrel roll, very nice. Mm. People are gonna think it's pre-recorded now that you've yeah. <laughs> well, no, people, <laughs> people are sending me uh, friend requests on. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, so you won that one. Um, so you can okay, so the... this is the, a change to Here the flow, right? Yes. So now you have the options to stick or twist. Tom could stick, and if you hit X, it'll show him what he could bank so far. Um, oh, if he presses yeah, X, sorry. Um, there you go. So scroll down. So he currently has. 10,000 credits. He currently has the Skill Event Horizon hoodie, if you were really into a, a navy blue hoodie, or he can play on for more rewards. And I think that we should absolutely twist and play on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, OK. Um, shall we turn notifications off real quick? Um, <laughs> we probably should, because it'll make it crash. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> that might be best. Uh, so how are the uh, challenges chosen for the, the Super 7 high stakes, then? Is there a specific set of challenges that people might find? So um, it's based on the on the completion and like statistics of of challenges mm -hmm. that people have created. Uh, the main super seven is it's a challenge. There's there's definitely opportunity to to mess it up, but generally speaking, it surfaces challenges that the game thinks you'll be able to beat. Now it's okay. going to surface challenges which the game thinks you'll you'll find quite tricky. Um, but of course, it has this cool reward mechanism in there as well to kind of encourage you to always play on and push it a little bit harder. So as much as I All want right. that hoodie, I'm gonna I'm gonna twist. Let's do I'm it. Carry on going. <laughs> Um, do you want to take the next challenge? Sure, sure, sure. All right, test the skills of Mike this time. Um, let's see what they've got in store for us. It could be anything. So this Quite is live. Fun. This could be literally anything. Um, yep. It says, I don't know, try. Hit 108 miles per hour in the Holden Tirana in less than 22 seconds. So at least it'll be quick. Um, okay. <laughs> I like that it's, just, just it's called, I don't know, try. <laughs> Got a lot of plays though, so I don't know. That tells us something. Uh, so just to oh, draw yeah. attention to it, you've got burns and lives there. So I have three attempts to complete this challenge, but I can use a burn uh, three times throughout the whole seven to bin this challenge off and get another one. That does not okay. reset your lives though. That's fair. Firm but fair. Okay. So it might be a small mercy if this is short. That's that, that's the, what I'm getting. <laughs> Better to fail fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nothing more frustrating than getting stuck into a long challenge and failing it towards the end. Okay. Excellently framed, framed starting point there. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Excellent. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, catch a wheelie. That's cheeky. Yeah. Of course, Super I 7 allows it. you to put your own custom tunes. Oh, oh no. That's unfortunate. <gasps> You were um, close though. You were like eight, I, was within, I was within one mile. Per, I don't think that was a stock Holden Serrano, was it? No. Um, oh no. So within one mile per hour. So I think the trick here is to just pull it back a little bit on the start line to keep yourself. Yeah, you seemed to. You had a little more. bit of spare time, didn't you? Yeah. You were really close there. You were literally, I think, like one mile off. <laughs> That's a <Yeah>. shame. <laughs> okay. And away he goes. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was worse. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I was looking at the time. I forgot there was a destination point as well. That's a shame. All right, go one more try then. I think you can oh, do it. One, 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 one life left. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an especially nasty start location, isn't it? Yeah. I, I feel like that was rude. part of the challenge. Yeah, I think they knew what yeah. they were doing there. Strike 99 knew what he was doing. All right, oh, start. no. Okay. Not a good start. We'll get it this time. It's good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, easy, wow. easy. Photo finish. <laughs> yeah, it was close. <laughs> um, All right. And therein Let's lies the get. appeal of Super 7 high stakes. So we now get another challenge, which <laughs> each one of these is supposed to get slightly harder than the one before it. Um, okay. Oh, my goodness. Well, if that isn't a carrot. I mean, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> One of the most sought-after uh, collectible items in the entire game, the Quack Wellies. The, they are again. Incredible. This is this is the tantalising psychology of Super Seven High Stakes. Just when you thought, <laughs> no, I'm going to stick. It says, it says, oh no, you won't, because you need those Quack Wellies. So uh, it's appealing to me right now. Um, I imagine um, chat's pretty pretty much agreeing with us there. <laughs> uh, so you used two lives then in your previous challenge. So you got one left. No, so lives actually resets each each stage. Oh, the, burn, the burns okay. last for the entire Super Seven, but you do actually your lives go back to three uh, each time you complete a challenge. So one of one of the uh, cool and interesting quirks of Super Seven is obviously you can get uh, challenges which aren't of your native language. This is a great example of that. I'm looking at the map of plays. 
quite a low ratio of likes. <laughs> I think we can have a great time with this one. Uh oh. Some people like it though. It may be, it Some people did like it. It will probably be an acquired taste. And he's not. It's it's not going to be like a thousand family members that have liked it. <laughs> what i'm saying i mean it could be <laughs> <laughs> it, it could be, it could be. <laughs> okay so clear it's start line this time it's so um, maybe it's just reached 57 miles an hour in this car uh no, it wasn't the time um well that's well, a straight gotcha. then i'm sure it will be F faster fastest car in the game straight on the motorway yeah, yeah. what could go wrong it's always there a risk. Do you go off road here? Do you just take the road? Do like, you go to the uh, destination? I suspect going off road just really <laughs> probably um, have a bad time. <laughs> Although I might not have an option if I, um, if I just overcook it. Got some speed hey, going target. here. Oh no! Oh, you, you've gone off road. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> that, I mean, that was mean. <laughs> that's, uh, that's sneaky. Okay. I mean, you've got 10 seconds. <laughs> it's six six kilometres away. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's on the other side of the road, though, isn't it? So you might actually make it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm no, not. No, no, no. no. Okay, I know oh. what's coming. I'm what, going. Do you want to use a burn? No, no. I'm going to have another go. <laughs> <laughs> not a quitter. <laughs> Do we have so, a hard stop for this stream, or can we. I think we, I think we <laughs> just basically go, go until, yeah. until we win. Okay. Um, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Right. Okay. So there was there was a booby trap. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just got to remember exactly where that was. Um, top tip: you can see those coming up on the mini map, but um, uh, it's kind of hard to keep your eye on the mini map, though. I suppose. Or you can, you know, learn by failing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yes. At least the, despite the, the language issues, I believe the objective is clear. Yeah, uh, you, you, you do know what the creator was was targeting for you to do here. <laughs> Desperately looking for when those. Oh, they're here. Where is it? Can I go around it? Yeah, I think you slowed down. I did. No, not within the spirit <laughs> of the challenge. You think? <laughs> I like on the face of it, it's just like a really simple, straightforward challenge. Fastest car in the game, fully upgraded, <laughs> take out on the motorway. And then halfway, it's just like, also this. There was a bit of a, <laughs> a sneaky clue with the... Um, oh, Jesus, this is going to be very, very tight indeed. Oh, no. One life left. Um, oh, do I have God. a burn, though? I think, burn, I'm yeah. gonna, I think I'm going to burn. Um, oh, OK. I'm going to just not like or dislike that. <laughs> <laughs> Stay neutral. We're raining a neutral party. All right, he's on the fence about that one. <laughs> I wonder if there's a All way right. to take that ramp and land on the end zone. I'm going to burn that. Okay, yes. so we'll get another challenge. Yes. If so Tom burns it, he's... Kind of you. I mean, you keep alive, this one's looking very one life simpler, chance. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well, you have one life left. You could burn it again. If you feel like the, the 599 is not for oh, you. Jeez, what a... We've still got two burns, so I'm going to burn it again. I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> Um, cool. Well, there you go. This one has a combination <laughs> of likes to plays. Oh, right. Okay. Yes, you're about to use your final life. So Leah asked earlier, how does it pick the challenges? I promise you that the way it picks it is not look for challenges in with the Ferrari 599. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Hands three out of three, you might think that's what it's doing. Ooh, right. Top speed 6201 asks us, can we go faster? Faster than what? That was the question. <laughs> right, okay. One minute, 18 seconds. Uh, that is going to be a tight time on it to get up to 300 mile an hour. Um, I love it when they start you backwards or in front of an obstacle. <laughs> okay. Neither. See them scheming when they plan it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is really going to test you now, actually, because that, that's actually a pretty... Um, Aggressive target time on the uh, on the motorway speed trap. So I would uh, I would advise against any use of brake. Okay. You will need to come off the gas. You will need to come off the gas a little bit. Um, I reckon for these bends, just to. Okay. Brake line's been cut. Like this one. Speed. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's... Oh. 
covertly avoiding. Straight away there, yeah. As you can see, with this slightly glitched tune, it's um, shooting some sparks out the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I was just nice. going to say, I thought I carried a bit of the roundabout with me. <laughs> it was <laughs> sparking, but no, that's the um, the car itself sparking. Um, nice. I'm going to like that. Well, Funny how you like the ones that you win and don't. Like <laughs> you I'm very fickle like that. <laughs> I wonder if there's a correlation between the disliked ones and the more difficult ones. <laughs> People just finding it difficult. There, there almost certainly is. Oh my goodness. It's just when I thought I was ice. out, I'm <laughs> back in the ice. <laughs> I mean, right. that's tempting. Look at it. It, it. it is. I mean, that's actually a really cool sweater. I would totally wear that. It is a cool sweater. It is a cool sweater. There are there are some great cars in the, in the high stakes reward pool as well, it's fair to say. Tell us about it. What can we go in? Um, off the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> Just great cars. Just there great are some cars. great cars. <laughs> there is the is Ferrari FFXXK. Cool. That is a great car. Yeah. Uh, there's a LaFerrari, I think. Is this written down over here somewhere? No, no, I'm not. I'm looking at, <laughs> not looking at the fridge next to <laughs> uh, you. You want a LaFerrari in it? I did, I did. You I'm did, not sure yeah. if that, 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 that is pre release, though. So there might not okay. be in the actual okay. release pool. And the Windows XP shutdown horn is the most coveted prize in all of yeah. Forza Horizon 4. Yeah. Um, That's a good prize. This one has not been played very much, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, Leah? Should we carry on? Yeah, one more. Why one not? Last, one last one. Yeah. One last rise. I kind of want to see if you can go all the way. All right. Okay. Well, let's challenge accepted. As we said, it does get harder <laughs> as you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have noticed us capping out at about six here. <laughs> Um, and, and as a reminder for those we did mention at the start but it's, if we fail we lose all the rewards we've got to this point so all of the things we're picking up including the hoodie the, the, hoodie, quack the quack wellies the wheel spin the credits all of that is on the it's line it's like a great game show right. okay <laughs> that's I've got a here. Here. that's a problem Turn left. the car is not quick um, I have to travel 12 kilometers. <laughs> oh god <laughs> and I can see there's loads of stuff on the road Ferris wheels over there that's fun Nice variety of challenges as well. You've had a couple of uh, speed, uh, time, and now a damage limit in the time. Yep. In 200 meters. I think damage meters limit is especially points. difficult in Super 7 yeah. because people can... Because I, I obviously know these roads quite well, and now people are able to really change the way that they behave. They <laughs> <Like, laughs> me out. Oh, no. Oh, Why are you taking there? all of the ramps, Oof. really? I'm going to be honest. I thought it would be more fun. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, can you get through? You can't get through that. Uh, this is where we fail. I think. <laughs> <laughs> the Super oh, Seven Adventure uh, comes to next. Uh, um, this wow! One. I do not feel like I have oh. enough uh, health to e get. Back. Easy get. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that. Was that. It. that was <laughs> wow! Um, that's a tough one. Jesus! I mean, you could burn yeah. it. No I can burn. burn it. I think we're going to have to burn it because <laughs> I, otherwise we'll be here all night on that seven-minute drive. <laughs> I, I think I, I think the way to win that one will be to take it very, very slow and be careful about what you're hitting, mm -hmm. which yeah. is not the, it's not a great spectator uh, challenge for our audience here. So no. burn the car. Fun challenge. It's not, not for burn us it. to watch. <laughs> Zero burns remaining. Two lives left. Okay. What's behind door number five? One. Nice. One minute 25. Okay. Don't know what the rest um, of that is, but we'll... Uh... We could be the 10th like. It's got nine likes. <gasps> well, only if it's good. I'm sure it's we don't great. just hand out likes if we like pass it i think i think we'll probably like it yeah okay, jump. The, That's only clear. if it's good translates doing. to only if we beat it <laughs> <laughs> and then absolutely it's great the way to my heart is to not challenge me in any way shape or form <laughs> 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 apparently uh. okay what okay. is this um i guess we go up here and then okay <laughs> thanks for putting that there korea <laughs> Well, sometimes it's just to get their eye in, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, Looks like we're going to... Is it Rosebury or Raspberry? I forget. Rose, Rosebury. Rosebury. Um, I think it was spelt wrong many a time in, in various bug reports on the, the bug database. I feel like this is uh, not the best angle of approach in order to achieve a distance of 295 metres on this danger sign. Uh, I think um, you're right. Great car, though. It is a... It's yeah, it is a great car, um, but I feel like time. we're going to lose this. Um, no damage meter this time, so we can afford to take it off-road. I'm going to use those uh, 33 seconds to give myself a bit of a run-up. 
Nice. Tactical. Yeah, I, like I think it. you want to go back up that dirt road a bit. Well, <laughs> we're out of time, so. Okay. 20 seconds. Oh. This is going to be tight. Okay, all right. I believe. Right, come on, little. Uh, come on, little M1. You can do it. I bet you're going to get stuck on the airtime. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I've cheated. Oh, I've cheated. Oh, oh. I've, brought, I've, brought, I've brought shame on us all. <laughs> on live television as well. <laughs> oh, look at that. The time ticking down. Oh. oh. It was nice no. of you to make that noise, Leah, but I think we all knew that, was, <laughs> that wasn't going to come off. <laughs> it wasn't, um, you know, it was hopeful, wishful thinking. <laughs> And as we only have one life left and no burns left, we have no choice but to uh, have another go. Um, yeah. You know what to expect now. So. I do know what to expect now. So I know that I should probably go this way. Avoid this. Uh, <laughs> that, all of that was a, a red herring. And what we actually need is a really big run up. All right, OK. And not to hit the that money. little um, bridge. It's about utilizing the <laughs> all that, all that there, so. Oh. <laughs> uh, map, map knowledge in play there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Professionals at work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have you got a smooth run up here? Or is it going to be through the fields? Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm going to have a little bit through the fields and a little bit of a run up. Mm -hmm. But I um, okay, okay. do need to get a move on because we only have 45 seconds and mm. I'm on my last life. And I think I've ruined everything. I don't think we're going to make it. Um, oh, this channel is not going to get a like, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I like that my view of the game is a little bit behind you guys, so I just uh, I see it afterwards I've and I'm really, like, oh, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> okay, all right, where are we? <laughs> Got absolutely no chance of uh, <laughs> doing this. Um, never right. say never. I think we just drive up it and we'll enjoy the view and, and say no more. I think it. there is a way, isn't it? You can come up here and like flip, flip through <laughs> it. There, Oh, there, there is a way you could go. You're already in the air when you when you go through, yeah, which yeah, I think yeah. is how uh, the, the leaderboard play goes on this one. But I am not successfully achieving that. And there we go. That was uh, Super Seven High, high stakes. stakes. High stakes. Where the stakes are high. <laughs> the stakes are high. We lose everything as the timer timer dwindles. Um, oh. The sevens are super, and Alex has come to. Um, well, um, thanks, Luke Six CZ. You've ruined it. Yeah, say goodbye to the quack boots. They're gone. <laughs> I shut. I thought you were going to go just like. No, I, will, I will decline to like that challenge. Um, <laughs> that, that that gorgeous navy blue hoodie as well. It's gone. Gone forever now. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Yeah. Who knows when we'll see that again? No. Very rare. Yeah. There we go. Um, and, okay. And so serious. It is, it is especially difficult. Um, and. Yeah, challenging it throws up it throws up a type of challenge that you wouldn't see in normal super seven so it is actually mm -hmm. uh, a really interesting way to enjoy all these challenges that the community have made yeah absolutely named high stakes um series 37 is available for download on june the 29th so you can play super seven high stakes then um all right so looking ahead a little bit um so we understand that with many people on the team focused on forza horizon 5 forza horizon 4 players will notice a, a change in monthly content starting next month uh, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that's right. So with Forza Horizon 5's release being our priority over the next few months, uh, we've made some changes to the way Forza Horizon 4's monthly uh, series updates. So starting with series update 38, so that's the next, next one on 37, players who know the game well will start to see the return of content uh, from series 7 to 32. Um, think of it a bit a uh, bit like a mixtape uh, featuring the return of some of your favorite content um, combined with recently added new features. So, you know, maybe it'll spur on some old memories you have of some great seasonal events and some great puns, more importantly. I hope uh, so. <laughs> uh, although oh, we aren't yeah. planning to add all new cars and features over the, uh, these next months, um, you should have a lot of fun revisiting these moments and seeing how you handle them the second time around. Um, and obviously, with all of our recent series updates, you'll have photo challenges, uh, rewards, Forza Fun Shop, and backstage voting uh, all going on as well, as usual. Although I have to say, nothing's going to be able to beat Silence of the Lamborghinis. Like, that's that's that you've peaked. <laughs> 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 yeah, nothing. We, obviously. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> nothing will top that now. Um, but yeah, who doesn't love a good mixtape? Um, but does that mean after Forza Horizon 5 is released that players can expect more updates to Forza Horizon 4? 
Uh, yes, yeah, so we we do plan to to make sure Forza Horizon Four continues to be a fun experience, um, but we aren't ready to share exact plans quite yet. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit more about Forza Horizon Five then. Uh, there's some confusion going around about the hardware specifications on different consoles. Uh, so, how will Forza Horizon Five perform on Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S? Yeah. So the default on the Series X is. Uh, 4K 30 FPS, and on the S is a 1080p 30 FPS. On both of those consoles, you'll have the option to bump it up to 60 frames per second. Uh, in order to, to achieve that steady 60 frames, we'll then turn off some select graphical features. So we'll turn down a few things to make sure you're always getting that really slick frame rate. All right, okay. And how will it perform on uh, Xbox One consoles and PC? Uh, sure. So yeah, which, whichever whichever device you're playing on, uh, you're going to have a really, really great experience. Uh, in terms of PC, uh, we'll be announcing the, the final system specs closer to launch. Great. Uh, well, we look forward to hearing more about that in the future. So thank you. Um, but before you go, can you give viewers a tease of what will be coming up on the Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go stream, which is coming up right after this? Yes. So right after this, uh, stick around. Don't go anywhere. We have Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go, uh, where you'll meet Lucas, who is our lead lighting designer, along with Aiden, who's also on the lighting team, along with Don Arceta, our art director. And they're going to give you a deep dive into how we put the skies together for Forza Horizon 5. Uh, loads of great new stuff in there and a really interesting insight as well. Amazing. Yeah, you certainly want to stick around to see that right here on twitch.tv forward slash Forza after Forza Monthly is over. Uh, it has been a pleasure as always. Thank you so much for joining us today and uh, we'll see you next time. Yep, see you later. Thanks, Leah. Thanks, Leah. Now it is time for our community spotlight. And if today's guest sounds familiar, it's probably because Ali Tak has featured his content right here on this very show. Rob Gibb has been a Forza content creator for years and his latest endeavor, Forza Comp GG, is gaining traction as a centralized hub for competitive drivers looking to find organized racing. Uh, here's a glimpse at what Forza Comp GG is all about. Hello, Rob. Welcome to the show. Hey, how's, how's it, it going? I good, thank you. How are you doing? Oh, uh, not too bad. Good to hear. Um, okay, so tell us about Forza Comp GG. What is it? Well, Forza Comp GG makes uh, small trailer videos for Forza esports events throughout the community. Uh, we also have a Discord where our hub essentially is, where you can get a quick glimpse of everything that's going on throughout the week and check it out and maybe sign up and get racing. Okay. Um, so what made you start for to come to you? Well, I peaked at Rocket League and was looking for a new competitive scene to join into. Uh, Forza, I've always been into it. It's got great ease of access. Um, and the community overall is just great with the people that are in it. Uh, mm -hmm. So I started looking for events and I struggled to find anything that fit my schedule. So I got fed up with it and decided to take matters in my own hands. That's what you got to do. Um, and this isn't yeah. your first foray into uh, Forza content creation either. Uh, what else have you done in the scene? Uh, yeah, so I used to have a channel called Bust D8. Oh. I think he's frozen. We're just going to see if we can get Rob back, uh, see if we can continue the interview because Forza Comp GG has been uh, highlighted with our monthly esports roundup with Ali Tak uh, a couple of times now. So it'd be good to have a chat about what that's all about and uh, what they do for the community. So let's pray we can get Rob back. And uh, it looks like we can't get him back right now so uh if you would like to nominate your favorite forza content creators for a chance to appear in a future community spotlight on forza monthly just let us know who they are and what you like about their work at aka 
ms forward slash forza spotlight and uh, we'll see if we can get rob back a little bit later maybe um but for now let's move on to community racing with ali tack shall we um first though i have to say uh let's see our favorite images from the forza share Check out the community events with Ali Tack. Welcome back, Ali. How you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. It's a shame to see Rob Good. drop off there. It's he's Forza Comp yeah. GG do such great stuff. And uh so yeah, check him out on Twitter, everyone, if you haven't already. Forza Comp GG. Yeah, I think they're on uh, TikTok and Facebook and everywhere as well. <laughs> so if you want to check out what they're everywhere. all about, please do check them out. They're well worth uh the look into for sure. Um well, so let's talk about Late Shift, because last month we announced a new competition yeah. called Late Shift, um, which is making a splash in the Forza competitive scene. Uh, so what is it for those who don't know? Yeah, so it's a pinnacle Forza esports competition. It's been really cool seeing it kick off this last month or so. Uh, it's open to residents of North America, and races are going to go on every single week until September. So there's a lot to be excited about. Okay. Um, why is it gaining so much traction uh, amongst the community? Yeah, that's, I think there's a couple of reasons there. One of them is that there's good prizes. There's uh, mm -hmm. weekly prizes uh, for people who do well in the weekly races, but there's also a massive prize pool for the sort of end of the end of the competition. So lots and lots of stuff to win if you mm -hmm. get out there racing. Uh, another good reason I think that people are getting excited about it is because it has a really nice open format. Um, mm. Every single week, there's a new qualifier. So you just go out onto the rivals, featured rivals on Forts Motorsport and set your time and you can find yourself qualifying into the races and it's open every single week. So you don't have to like, it's not something that you should have already done. You can still get out there and give it a go right now. So yeah, I encourage you to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plenty of incentive and opportunity for you to go race as well. Um, but how have the races been going so far then? Yeah, really, really exciting. Uh, we actually, we have a, a video we can check up on. Lots and lots of cool yeah. stuff going down. All right, let's check that out. Daytona, it's the world center of racing. Can't wait to turn these guys loose. I am hyped, hopefully everybody watching is too. We are underway here and THR Lightning has had an absolute draft of that start drop back into the pack to third position as there's contact in the background uh that is tragic stuff tail still look at that 40 feet separating them to the fastest part of the infield back down to the west horseshoe nose to tail a dimes all over lightning going to be an easy run to the line broke the slipstream of everyone else and 250 dollars is going to open into the account of thr lightning group b race underway green flag they stormed out of turn one and everybody filing through the first couple of corners at daytona for the first time progress is progress certainly much like golf you just got to keep getting closer to the hole as oh a lock up there in the international horseshoe send it was sending it but now side by side that's gonna get tricky at the kink you see i'm just kurt leaning all over that door pink versus red as we head down to the kink who's your daddy was just sort of 
a, a bit too hot. And Ooh, once, there he again, goes again. once again, a bit too hot, making contact on the back of Renown Source, dropping the position to Mafia as well, but Mafia might gain two. Just Kurt holding on, diving it back down the inside. That's Diablo who's just swept through on the inside, trying to grab fifth place at the moment. So a string of cars now working through the S's into the International Horseshoe. Oh. One of the inside! Was that just send it? He just sent it! Hey, that's the one thing I told you you could bet on. How about that? Look how tight they are. You're more just hoping that you keep everyone at bay behind, so you're at least going to net yourself $500. It's tight between them. Boy, did we have to wait for this race. But was it worth it? Look at how tight this is. The two yellow Corvettes leading the ray. One and two at the moment. Force one just trying to keep it firm at the top, but Lightning is a Part of it, two laps to go at Daytona. The race lead still going to be held by Force One. THR Lightning not doing anything. Diablo going in for the full send, though, on the inside of Turismo. Getting it done on himself, and that's what happened a couple of laps ago. Well, why not sort it out? That's how it's done, Turismo. One lap to go at the Daytona International Speedway. Two yellow Corvettes battling for the race win like we all want to see. You see Lightning still holding tight behind Forrest One. That's all he's got to do. Not long to go. Every corner is a missed opportunity and a potential chance for, a, for, for you to dive down the inside, for you to grab the race victory. Whether the door's going to be open enough, you will have to wait and see. We've seen two yellow Corvettes battle it out on this racetrack uh, time and time again. I saw them come to a side by side side to the the finish on one year as that is not a good line from julian now uh, mondo's got through it's going to be tight where's the move going to come it's got to be down into the bus stop last chance surely he wants to get up there into the top 10 though oh, oh no to tell no. he turned him no that is contact on the rear end from THR Lightning, spinning around Force One. Force One's going to try and continue and going to try and get back on it. Not sure. We only just caught the end of that. Either way, we can only call it as we can see. It doesn't seem like there's a penalty on the form of THR Lightning. Here but look at that, it. send it with three seconds of penalty, though, has grabbed second place. Not sure how much Force One's got, but across the line in the most dramatic fashion. We had to wait for the race, but it was absolutely worth it. Lightning across the line, and he takes the first win in the late shift fantastic commentary there at a spicy race as well um there are some familiar names in front but who actually took the win in the end in round one yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of excitement there in the last lap you could hear the commentators going going crazy through the bus stop there i think um lightning getting into the rear of force one allowed him to get the the lead in the end this is the first round it's just a, it's happened at the beginning of the month um after the race, Lightning did get a penalty for that. So Force One took the win in the end and Lightning had to had to settle for a little less. He was definitely disappointed about it. We saw him uh, chatting about that on Twitter a little bit. And uh, I think that's been one of the fun things in this competition as well. It's gotten the community talking a little bit. You've got some, yeah. everyone's got an opinion, you know, everyone, everyone thinks that and there's a lot of experts out there. <laughs> yeah, even if you can't quite catch the race live, you can just watch Twitter for a live feed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> 100%, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the best part, though, is like seeing it through everyone else's eyes through their work. Well, I like that, too, because it gives you it lets you see the passion as well. You know, yeah. and a driver like Lightning, you know, we say it all the time when when calling his races, but he wears his heart on his sleeve. And so, yeah. you know, he'll go straight back out to Twitter and tell us how he feels about it. And I, I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like watching yeah, this whole thing. Blimps directly into the brain. Um, so how did rounds two and three go? You know, it's been that sort of really set the fleet the theme for the uh, the late shift so far. Uh, round two, I think, saw Force One uh, actually concede to Lightning, so Lightning took the win there. And then in round three, just this last weekend, Force One put on a, a last lap move on Lightning to take the win. Uh, you wow. can check out that exact move on his uh, on his Twitter. That's Daniel Nyman uh, out on Twitter. So do have a look at that. It's pretty gutsy. Um, I have to say as well, a lot of respect from lightning in the in the response to that move you know sometimes yeah. even though it can feel disappointing to lose out i think that there was a lot of space left it was just really nice racing all around so yeah uh really i've been really enjoying watching it yeah absolutely um and if you uh feel like you missed out uh because it sounds like you have uh there are still several weeks of late shift racing still to come so you can check out here on the calendar uh round four is ongoing um but you've got round five on july the first uh till the sixth um, and if you're interested in taking part, you still can. You can start your journey by participating in the weekly Rivals Challenge and register your fastest lap on lateshift.gg. And you can also watch the action live, of course, Sundays from 5 till 7 p.m. PDT on the Late Shift TV Twitch channel.
Um, well, that's late shift, uh, but we still got more to talk about uh, because we have the Tora 24 Hours of Le Mans. How was that? It was good. It was really good. Um, this year, I did like a split thing for it. So I had a little bit of commentating right here on the Forza channel. Uh, we we saw a load of people coming by and checking it out, which is always uh, makes me happy. And we got to see some of the fastest drivers in the game, uh, you know, competing and, and doing their best to to win what is probably the most prestigious community event of the year. Um, mm. Massive shout out to the winning team. I can only remember that it was Forza Europa who won. So big up to Europa and the rest of your team. I'm super sorry. I can't remember the rest of your guys' names. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I was getting, I was getting confused because I was later on got behind the wheel of the car and drove for a little bit. Um, oh. and I had pretty low expectations about how well I would do there. Uh, and we didn't win obviously, but we got like 20th, I think overall. So not too bad. Lose. And a big shout out to my teammates who, who were awesome and helped out throughout the whole thing. Oh, sounds like a good time. Um, you got to do a bit of everything there as well. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like the variety. And, you know, especially, yeah. you know, uh, streaming as well. You know, we were streaming the whole thing for, it was like a eight, nine hour stream. So nice to mix things yeah. up a little bit uh, for, for me, but also yeah, for people time. watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bit monotonous by like hour five. You're like, yep. It's been, <laughs> it's <right. laughs> it's been my Just life. tired now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so uh, what community races have we got in the works for July then? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we've got a great, we've got a great calendar for the next month coming up. Um the Super Brat Cup is uh super fun. That's with of course the guys from Reddit. Uh do check that out. The Super Brat's kind of a silly car, but um it's always close racing there. Uh GT 500 from Tora is going to Magello, always a classic. And then PTG. I'm excited about about this DTCC is making its return that is Ducky's touring car championship uh there's this one guy PTG Ducky who is just championing touring cars uh, within the PTG team. He's got his own brand. I absolutely love this. Uh, I took part last series and probably will again this series during my Saturday stream. So do check that out. Uh, ETR Elite Tier Racing, teaming up with Racing Buddies Historic Motorsport to bring you a classic 911 Cup. So that's something to check out on the 14th. And then uh, the, the guys from uh, RBHM once again uh, with an MX5 Cup is the last thing on our calendar for the next month. And there we go. Another action fact calendar. Uh, and you can also, again, take part in the late shift uh, .gg races for yourself if you want to. Uh, you know, if you live in North America, that is very important to remember. <laughs> um, and yeah, as you say, it sounds like they've got some great incentives uh, there as well to get involved in. So uh, do check that out. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us, Ali, and giving us the breakdown on the That's community right. esports. We'll see you next time. Thank you um now it looks like we might have rob back so we can jump back into the community spotlight and hopefully finish talking about forza comp gg because there's plenty of interesting information there uh that you guys need to know so uh let's see if we can get rob back i hope <laughs> hey I'm hey back. hello sorry. my isp thought it'd be a great time to do work in my area so oh no it's typical yeah. <laughs> Absolutely typical. Um, okay, so we were just talking about uh, your content creation in Forza. Um, we just mentioned uh, why why you got started in Forza Comp GG, and that's because you you found a gap in the market. You found something yeah, that I was, I was didn't looking exist for somewhere to race. Needed. There was nothing in my schedule, so I took matters in my own hands. Yeah. Um, so, where did your passion for Forza esports come from? Uh, are you sort of a fan of most sport in real life? Uh, weird thing. I myself am a mechanic, but I am not a fan of like your IRL motorsports. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit of a weird situation. Uh, more or less like I, I tried to get in at one point, but it is too expensive for me. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but for the whole esports side, uh, I was I've actually been following the Rocket League scene since its start, and I've really enjoyed uh, how that community and game has grown. And mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to see that happen in the Forza community. That's super interesting. So you got uh, involved in the esports scene of another game, and you've uh, brought that that interest and skill over to uh, Forza, um, rather than coming from like an IRL esports. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, uh, IRL sports. <laughs> it's so ingrained into my brain now. I'm like esports, esports. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this isn't uh, necessarily about competing yourself either. This is about you wanting to help Forza esports grow, so you can kind of enjoy like all aspects of it. Yeah, so originally I, I was mostly doing it for myself so I could find race events that I could partake in. 
but then after a while, uh, working with everyone in the community, I've just had such a great time, like working with everyone. I've actually started to enjoy this part of uh, trying to manage all the content, get everything out, discuss uh, yeah. upcoming events with other uh, organizers and just go from there and roll with it. Absolutely. Um, and now you've sort of become like a hub for organizers uh, almost. So what are your goals for Forza to come, Gigi? Going uh, realistically, we're looking to have a Forza 7 race event every day of the week. We're actually struggling with Mondays. So if anyone out there has a Monday race event and wants to get it signed up, uh, you can swing by our Discord and find the uh, submit your race event section and follow the prompts and go from there. All right. Yeah, there you go. Opportunity. Um, so who are some of the major race organizers out there for anyone who doesn't know where to look? Yeah, so we have uh, FTC Racing. Uh who has their Porsche Cup on Tuesdays and their European Le Mans series on Fridays. Uh, next, there's P1 Racing, who has their uh, Jaguar Spec Cup on Wednesdays and their uh, Muscle, or sorry, Old School NASCAR on Sundays. And then there is also Delta Online Racing, who hosts the Japanese Cup, which is a qualifier for the Intercontinental Cup, which happens okay. on Sundays. And then there is uh, FRML, who has a big endurance event coming up, which is the Hockenheim 8-Hour. Uh, that starts on, I don't have my notes, uh, July July 10th, hopefully. I have that right. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, there is uh, probably one of my favorite ones to watch, uh, the SRL P1 GTR Championship, uh, Sunshine Racing League, which happens on Thursdays. I love that name so much. Every time it comes up, Sunshine Racing League. Sunshine, just makes beautiful. me so happy. Right? So just nice. happy days. <laughs> and I assume you have all this information as well on your on your Discord, on your various social media channels if people yeah. wanted to. Yeah, you can that. check us. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twit- or Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Discord. Yeah. Um, so like, how can other organizers get featured on your channels? What can they do? Uh, so there's really two ways. Uh, you can join our Discord, find the channel that says Submit Your Race Event and follow the prompts and fill in the form. And the other way is just be active on social media. If you're on any like uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, be active on there, post some pictures of your event. We'll eventually see you and get in contact with you. Are there any particular hashtags you look at when you're looking for content? Uh, like no, that? just Forza, just put the Forza, anything. Pretty much, we're just yep. always cruising around looking for anything new that's coming up. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, that's, yeah. Remind us again where people can find you just in case people miss that because you are, I mean, uh, you're everywhere, most, but. <laughs> the main place you want to go is the Discord. There you'll get uh, a little tidbit of every single person events who's going on throughout the week. Other than that, just all the majority of social media platforms. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking with you. Uh, sorry, awesome. our interview got split up. No, <laughs> um, but okay. thank you for joining us. <laughs> good luck with thank Forza Cup GG. You. you guys have a good week. Thank you. There we go. Um, and thank you again for bringing all uh, of your like innovative content creators like Forza Comp GG to our attention. We've had quite a lot uh, of very fascinating people on the community spotlight over the last few months. And it's been a pleasure to interview them and get to know all the different ways people are using Forza uh, to create content and create communities. Um, now that is, uh, we're getting close to wrapping up the show today, but first we have a few announcements. If you haven't already, you should check out the Xbox Avatars Pride Collection made by one of our very own Forza Motorsport software engineers. Uh, Louis and Angel Mex created these 14 designs based on the real-life Pride-themed apparel available in the Xbox gear shop. These cosmetics are all free, 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 free to download, so go grab them for your own Xbox avatar. And make sure to complete this week's spotlight in Forza Street because the Summer Muscle Showdown comes to Forza Street in two weeks. You'll need a powerful muscle collection to reap the rewards. So the best way to prepare is with this spotlight. Check it out.
that is all for today's show. But don't go anywhere because episode two of Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go with Playground Games is live right after this right here on twitch.tv forward slash Forza. Um, and we have the stream calendar as well for the next week. If you want to check out some more amazing content here on the channel, there's a little bit of something for everybody. So do be sure to check that out uh, throughout the coming week. Um, and that is it from me today. Thank you so much for watching the show. We'll see you next month on Forza Monthly. Bye.